Hello guys, I'm back for this little short video I'm doing about quick saging. Now, a lot of people out there always ask me, do I have to burn the whole smudge stick? You know, it smokes a lot. Uh, I live in an apartment. Uh, I have um, sprinklers and fire alarms in the apartment. Okay, you know, it's you can get around that just by doing what I usually do when I don't want to light the whole stick. You know, because we got these regular smudge sticks here. And then, let's say if you got the Native American smudge sticks from the sacred land. Well, you know, those things are like three or four feet long, you know. You don't want to light the whole thing. Smoke out the whole neighborhood, you know. So, what I like tell people is like you don't necessarily have to light the whole smudge stick because sometimes it's uh, kind of hard to turn it off once you got it going um, but I tell people say like if they're just simply doing a couple of stones or just one stones or their um, gemstone bracelets to keep them clean or just simply they're meditating or they're in prayer time or just they live in the apartment and they do have the sprinkler systems and the fire alarms and apartment complex that people can set off by you know saging so what I tell people basically is like all you really need to do is to pick a leaf out of the sage right here just little that's all you have to do is just pick a little leaf like that just one little leaf so I'm gonna hold this leaf with my other hand while I try to hold the phone. I'm gonna light it with the lighter. So we're lighting this leaf. And basically there it is, okay? The leaf is on its lip. You just blow it out and look, you got that sacred smoke right there. That's just enough to do your stones, your sacred gem uh jewelry jewelry your bracelets, your pendants, or just if you're in meditation, basically this this would work. It won't set off your alarms or fire alarms. Um, just prayer time, or maybe you just want to sage the room that you're in, say like your bedroom, your study room, you know, uh, and you just don't feel that it's clear. All you have to do is just light a little leaf just like this, and that would be just enough to clear the room from negativity. You know, just want to be careful. We don't want little ambers to fall anywhere where they can catch on fire and catch your home fire. So always be careful around fire, please. Um, here I have my abanel shell, so I always place the leaf in there. Um, even on those big sage sticks from Sacred Land, is it? I've got from you know from Native Americans. Um, sometimes I don't I don't like the whole thing. What I'll do is I'll cut that much off of this stick, place it in here, light it up, and then I'll go out throughout the home, cleansing my home from the front door, from outside myself first the front door. And then walking in the front door, going clockwise in each room till you get back to the front. So you know, you know, just to show you guys, you, know, you don't like need to light the whole thing. Sometimes you know, it's it's cool if you're doing like big spaces. Then yes, and even though that you can you know trim some of this off, or just pinch it, pinch some of this off and place it in a in a non-flammable container and you can cleanse your space that way so i hope this video was informative to everybody don't this isn't necessary to need to burn the whole stick smudge stick and i'll see you guys soon